Today we're going to be answering some optimization problem, which is another uh, application of the derivative. So let's go ahead and answer problem number one. For problem number one, we need to find two positive numbers such that the sum of the first and twice the second is 100. So in answering optimization problems, we always end up um, working with two equations. So the first equation will be uh, on the first sentence. So two positive numbers, so let's say x is the first number and y is the second number. The equation would be x plus 2y equals 100 because the sum of the first and twice the second is 100 and the product is maximized or maximum. So x and y should be maximized. So to do um, derivative or to apply derivative, we are going to be working with the second equation because this is the one that we're going to maximize. And since it has two variables, we need to modify our equation into single variable and we'll be able to do that with the help of our first equation. So since x e or x plus 2y equals 100 is our first equation, we can change this into x equal to 100 minus 2y. So now that x or y is in terms of x, we can now use it for our new equation. So let's say this is our f of x or the function. Our modified function is now going to be 100 minus 2y times y since we need one variable for our calculation. So by the distributive property, we'll end up with 100y minus 2y squared. So this is now our new f of x, and we're going to use this to find the critical number. And to find the critical number, we're going to set the derivative to zero. So we're going to find the derivative first, which is simply 100 minus 4y, and we're going to equate it to zero to find the critical number. So we'll have our critical number, which is 100 equals 4y divide by 4, so y is equal to 25. So this is our first number, and we just need to verify if it's going to uh, maximize our uh, product by using the sign chart. So we have 25 over here, so f prime of to the left of 25 is 0, and to the right of 25 is 26. So let's check it if it's going to be a positive value or a negative value for the first substitution. So we have 100 minus 4 times 0, which is 100 minus 0, so this one is positive, and the other one will be 100 minus 4 times 26, and we know that 4 times 26 is higher than 100, so we'll end up with a negative value over here. And in this way, we'll be able to verify that the value that we're looking for, or the y value that we're looking for, will help us find the maximum product of the two numbers. And to find the other variable, which is our x variable, we simply need to use the formula x equals 100 minus 2y and replace y by 25. So we'll have 100 minus 50, which is equal to 50. So the two numbers that we are looking for or two positive numbers that's equal to 100 and the product is going to be maximized or positive will be 25 and y, or 25 and tw 50. So x is 50 and y, or the second number will be 25. Now let's go ahead and answer problem number two. For problem number two, a gardener wants to uh, make an enclosure, a rectangular enclosure, using a wall as one side and 120 meters of fencing for the other three sides. So that means this is your wall and the fencing will equal to 120. So the perimeter, which is twice the width plus twice the length, is now going to be modified in this problem because now we only have one width. So let's say this is our width and this will be our length. So our new equation will simply be 120 of fencing for twice the length plus the width. 
So this is our first equation, and the second equation will be find the value of x such that it will give us the greatest area. So area of a rectangle is given by the formula L times width, and it need, needs to be maximized. So once again, just like what we did in the first example, the first equation will help us find or help us modify the second equation, which is the function that we will use for our derivative by isolating one of the variables. So in this case, I will isolate w. So I will modify my equation by subtracting 2l on both sides. So I'll have 120 minus 2l is w. So now w will change into 120 minus 2l. And now my f of x is l times this. And by simplifying the equation, we'll have 120L minus 2L squared, which we are going to use to find the critical number by finding the derivative and equating it to 0. So let's go ahead and do that. F prime of x is equal to 120 minus 4L. And F prime of x, which is 0, or the critical number, is simply 120 equal to 4L divided by 4. So L is 12 divided by 4 is 3, so we have 30 for the length. And we just need to verify it using our sign chart. So F prime of 0 to the left of 30, and 0 is the easiest one to use, and F prime of 31. So using 120 minus 4L, 30. So 120 minus 4 times 30 is, um, oh, it's also 120, so, I mean, 0, I'm sorry. So this is 0, so it's positive. And for the other side, we'll have 120 minus 4 times 31, and we know that this is going to be bigger, so our value will be negative. So, based on our illustration, the two v values of length and width will maximize our area. So the two values that we're looking for, L is 30, and the width, which is given by this formula, 120 minus 2L is going to be 120 minus twice of 30, which is 120 minus 60, which is 60. So the length and the width that will maximize our area will be 30 by 60. And the unit of measurement is meters. And that's for problem number two. Now for the last problem, we're going to be working on how to maximize the area of the poster we're making. So here, the poster has a margin, one inch at the bottom and the sides. So one inch right here, one inch right here. This is one inch. And two inches at the top. So in our illustration, this is our length, and this will be our width. So here, the length is going to be L minus 3, because there are 3 inches of margin, and W minus 2, because there are 2 inches of margin on the side. So on the first problem, we are given that um, the area is equal to 180, so length times width is supposed to be 180 degrees and we need to have the printing area to be maximized so we will use l minus 3 and w minus 2 as the printing area to be maximized so now we have our two equations and we're going to use it to modify our equation so our function 
will be L minus 3 and this is what we will use for our derivative and since it has two variables we're going to modify this by using this equation and in this case we can either isolate W or L and I choose to isolate W so I'll divide both sides by L so our new equation will be W equals 180 all over L and this will help us with our derivative function because now we're changing W by 180 over L. So our new equation will be L minus 3 times 180 all over L minus 2. This is our f of x. And let's modify our f of x so it's easy to differentiate. So by foiling it, we'll have L times 180 all over L minus 2L minus 3 times 180 all over L plus 6. So our f of x is cancel 180 minus 2L. 3 times 180 is going to be uh, 360 plus 6 all over so now we can find the derivative of our function. So f prime of x, derivative of the constant will turn into 0. So we'll have negative 2 so minus this is going to be 360 all over L, well, which is, is the same as negative 360 L to the negative 1. So the derivative of that would be positive 360 L to the negative 2. So this is now our function and we'll use this to find the critical number by setting it to 0. So now we have negative 2 plus 360 equal to 0. So to find the 0 I'll simply add 2 on both sides and by cross multiplication I'll have 360 all over 2 equals L squared. And by taking the square root of 360 divided by 2, which is 120, square root of 120 will be 10.954. So let's use that. And since we are trying to maximize the area, we're going to be using the positive value of L instead of the negative value of L because we don't want a negative length for our uh, function. So to verify if it's going to be maximized, so we have positive 10.954. So F prime of, let's say we're using this equation. Since the denominator cannot be 0, let's use F prime of 1. And for the other side will be f prime of anything higher than 10, let's say 20. So for f prime of 1, we'll have negative 2 plus 360 all over 1 squared, which we know is going to be a positive value. And on the other side, we have negative 2 plus 360 all over square of 20 or 20 squared. So since this is going to be a value less than negative 2, this will be a negative number. So we have a maximum value at 10.954 for the length. So if our length is equal to positive 10.954, the width using the formula, which is 180 all over L, is 180 all over 10.954. The width that we're looking for is 180 divided by 10.954 is 16.432. So these are the two values that will help us find the maximum area that we can use in our poster for uh, printing.